uh, Ms. Titus for her five minutes of question. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to the witnesses. You know, it, often I see my colleagues uh, across the aisle brandishing the Constitution like a sword. You love to quote it, you love to cite it, you love to talk about what the Founding Fathers intended, that original intent, but it's kind of like Shakespeare in the Bible. Those who talk about it the most have seldom read it and really may not understand what's in there. You know, if you talk about original intent, uh, you, you're saying what the Founding Fathers intended. Now, that's a smaller country, smaller population, smaller budget. We had no AI. We had no drones. How do we know what they intended? Well, often we don't, but in this case, we know exactly what they intended. All you have to do is look at some of the notes from the Convention of the Constitution by Madison, who did not want to include the uh, maladministration because it was too broad and policy-oriented. Look at Federalist Paper 65 by Hamilton, a conservative at the time, who did not want to uh, include this broader interpretation of impeachment. Now, you've also heard Mr. Bowman's arguments of respected scholar who you have demeaned his expertise by insinuating, oh, he's just a democratic uh, witness. Uh, but he is not alone in this position. Mr. Turley's letter was mentioned. Uh, there is an article in The Hill about another letter from legal scholars. This is a group of legal scholars who wrote a letter to our chairman and the leadership of the House, uh, Speaker Johnson, that says their proposed grounds for impeaching Mayorkas are the stuff of ordinary policy disagreement in the field of immigration enforcement. They go on to say that uh, this is inappropriate. They admit they have varying views on the wisdom and success of Mayorkas' work on the immigration policy, but they say you cannot have impeachment based on this policy, it is a, I quote, stark departure from the Constitution. Now, these legal scholars included in this letter are Donald Ayer, who served as U.S. Deputy Attorney General under George H.W. Bush, Stuart Gearson, who served as Acting U.S. Attorney General during Clinton, and also served in the Justice Department under Bush. You have Mr. Turley also included in this. There's even a quote by Durskowitz who says, that this is inappropriate use of impeachment. So Mr. Bowman, in, with his expertise, does not stand alone in condemning this use of impeachment for political reasons. Now, I look at this resolution that we're supposed to be considering that was offered by Ms. Taylor Green, and uh, aside from the fact that it's got some punctuation and grammatical errors, it lists some ways that the, uh, the secretary has been effective in the, the amount of fentanyl that has been seized at the border. The number of people who were caught on the terrorist watch list before they came into the country. Those are all evidence that he is carrying out his duty. What I don't see anywhere in this resolution, nor have I heard from any of my colleagues, nor any of our attorneys general, is how impeaching the secretary is going to solve all these problems. How's it going to get rid of these illegal grow places in Oklahoma? How's it going to get rid of all the terrorists who are coming into Missouri? How is it going to solve the fentanyl problem uh, in, in these other, whatever other state, oh, Montana, uh, because we've gotten rid of Mr. Mayorkas. If anybody can add that and tell us how getting rid of him is going to make a difference, I'd like to hear it. We hear over in the Senate, Mr. Lankford, Senator Lankford, who is a Republican, saying, well, you can just switch one secretary for another. It's not going to make any difference. So perhaps we could talk about how getting rid of Mr. Mayorkas through this uh, impeachment process is going to make a difference. Now, I hear nothing. Did, did you want, so, does the gentlelady yield? No, I'm not going to. Okay, all right. So since I, I gave you, I gladly, I gladly answer the question. I gave you an opportunity. I gave you an okay. I'll yield. I'll okay, yield. all right. I'll well, yield. in in my previous testimony, I've shared that the policies that he's implemented has allowed the cartels. And actually, Merrick Garland agreed with this that that they're flooding the crossing sites, tying up the border patrol, causing them to concentrate, and then the the 
the fentanyl and the other things are coming across the border outside. Now, I get the, the argument that's often made about what's captured is mostly captured you're at the crossing site. My, you take my time back. Okay, Thank all right. Chairman. You're not answering my question how getting rid of Mayorkas is going to solve these problems. What you really want to do is get rid of President Biden. You want to get rid of President Biden, and then perhaps you can put your own secretary in there that will come up with different policy. But just impeaching Mayorkas, we'll, we'll have another appointment of another secretary who follows the policy of the administration, and you won't like that either. So. Thank you, Mr. Bowman, for your expertise, and I yield back. The gentlelady yields. I now.